shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. The eternal God is our refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. For the Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? The righteous lives forever. And care of them is with the most high. With his right hand he shall cover them. And with his arm he shall shield them. But we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God in a house made with hands, eternal in the heaven. And I saw a new heaven, and I saw a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth have passed away. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more pain, no more death, no more sorrow, no more crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away, and there shall be no bright there, no night there, and they need no candle, neither light, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, that he keepeth Israel shall not neither sleep, slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade upon your right hand. The Lord shall preserve thy going in and thy coming out. From this time forth, this now and forevermore. At the same time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted and become as little children, 
ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Therefore shall humble themselves as little children, the same as the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoso shall receive one, such little child in my name, who receiveth me. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe in me also. For in my Father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place, I will come again and receive unto you myself. There where I am, you may be also. I am the way, the truth, and the life. If you love me and keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you because I live you shall live also. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. So again, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid.
we're going we to pray. Father God, we come right now, Lord God, with a humble heart this morning. Lord God, you know all about this situation this morning. And Lord God, we need you right now, Father God. We ask you to touch the children this morning, Lord God. We ask you to mend their broken hearts this morning, Lord God. We ask for peace right now, Lord God. We ask for joy in the midst of this storm, Lord God. And Lord God, we ask you right now to touch the family, Lord God. You know the situation, and Lord God, we need you to step in right now. Not like a mighty Russian whirlwind, Lord God. We need to feel your peace right now, Lord God. We need to feel your love right now, Lord. We need to feel your joy, Lord God. And Lord God, we ask you to touch the mother, Lord. You know how she feel, Lord God. And we ask you in the wee wee hours of the night when everybody is gone and she is there alone and all she can do is think about her child, Lord. We ask you to be in the midst, Lord God. We ask you to touch each and every family member here, Lord God. We ask you right now, Lord God, that you let your Holy Spirit fall down on this place, Lord God. That everyone will feel your love right now. Everyone will feel peace right now. Everyone will feel joy right now, Lord God. And we'll forevermore give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. These are the blessings we ask in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. is a mighty God. And even in the midst of trials, tribulations, sorrow, and pain, we still can say thank you. We can say thank you for Nisha's life. We can, we can say thank you for her children's life because she's leaving behind a legacy. And God is still a good God. Amen? And if you believe in God, you should give him a hand clap of praise on today because God is still a good God. And he will never leave us nor forsake us. And even though we are walking through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil on today because God is right here with us. And if you truly believe that God is right here with us, somebody ought to have an amen in their spirit on today. Amen. At this time, we will have...
Minister Jackson comes to us with the Old and New Testament scripture, and then for respect for the family, I'm asking that you just turn your cell phones off or put it on vibrate for just a little bit as we honor and celebrate the life of Nisha Robinson this morning. Amen? Amen. 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 Good morning again. Good morning. Our, first, our New Testament scripture will be Psalms 23. And it reads, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside his quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. <laughs> John 14 and 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going, the word of God for the people of God. Now we have a selection from Deborah Smith and EJ. Oh, 
Praise God, everybody. Even though my mom was not here, you guys are still looking at her. I'm a reflection of her. Praise God, everybody. Praise God. I just want to say to the family, embrace each other more now that she's gone. You know, those that live far, just learn to embrace each other more because time don't owe no one. I'm going to sing a portion of this song here. I ask y'all to take all mistakes for love. Reach out. And touch the love as he yeah, goes by. Listen, family, and you will find he's not too busy. To hear your hearts cry, and so reach out and touch the love. goes by I'm going to say it one more time and so reach out and touch the love as he yeah, goes by and you will find he's not too busy to hear your hear your heart cry 
Now I want you to know, he is passing, yes he is. Right now, this moment, in your every need, yes he will. He will supply. So reach out and trust the Lord. Now we will have a selection from Mrs. Gary. There we go. I just want to send my sincere condolences out to you all, every single member of the family. And I love you all. Even though you don't know me, I still love you. You don't even know it. Been praying for you guys for about all this. Okay. And I hope this song helps somebody, even if one person, to get a little bit more strength to get to get through this. Reflect on the love that God has for you. 
When talking to Sister Sharon over the last couple of weeks, she reminded me of a scripture, John 3.16. All right, all right. And so if I can just have your ear for just a couple of moments, I want to say, Sharon, pain hurts. Yes. No matter how you come across it, whether it's voluntary pain, oftentimes it's easier to come overcome voluntary pain, but involuntary pain such as the loss of our loved one is no easy cross to bear. And when it's sudden and somewhat unexpected such as this, the pain is somehow deeper and harder to accept. But God is able. Yes, he is. After speaking with Sharon after the loss of Nisha, she expressed the level of hurt and sadness she was feeling of her only birth daughter. Yes, we all go through some ups and downs and trials and tribulations. We may even go a time without speaking to our loved ones because they done pissed us off so bad. But there is no doubt that no matter the issue, death is something that we are not wishing for when it comes to our own flesh and blood. Amen. If I have some real folk in here today, we, we will cuss some folk out. Well, well. Uh, we will fight and, and do things to hurt someone's feelings. But again, you better not mess with my family. Well, well, right now. If I have a real church on today. Well, hey, hey. See, see, it's difficult to envision your loved ones wrapped in the arms of our loving Savior because you have yet to experience that type of love. That's right, that's right. We, we know how to get over the physical pain, but that deep down spiritual and mental pain hits a little bit different. Yeah. And, and we can only trust the scriptures and the times of sorrow and believe what it says. And sister, we can only do nothing but stand on the word of God. So while Sharon and I were, were talking, she stated that the loss of Nisha hurts. Yeah. And to see her daughter cry, and to see her sons cry, made it a little bit tougher to get through. Yeah. But, but God will wipe away your tears. Yeah. If God can sacrifice his one and only son in whom he loved, and who, who was she, Sharon? Not to somehow understand why her child is gone on today. Mm -hmm. And because of the love of mother and daughter, the loss of the physical separation hurts like none other. But the love that has been shared makes for a peace that sometimes can't be understood. Wow, wow. And so I'm reminded again this morning of a familiar scripture that we all should know that says, For God so loved the world. That he gave his only, his one and only son, right. that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Uh -huh. God, Jesus, Father, our heavenly Father, God sacrificed his one and only son for the rest of us, which is his birth children as well, that if you love and believe to die in him, it's a gain eternal life. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that God's heart hurt for his son when he was nailed to the cross. Yeah. But the love he had for Christ and the love he has for you and for me on this morning brought about a peace that surpasses all understanding. Mm -hmm. I don't care this morning how many loved ones you may have buried in this lifetime to lose one is painful but to have known real love somebody say real love real love, real love is what helps heal the hurt uh -huh. for love doesn't hurt it heals all right a lot of times we we only turn to the holy bible we we only turn to scripture when we have been hurt in some sort of way and feel that it is the only way to get us by until the next time. But, but let me say this. God, God intentionally allows trials and tribulations to come, Deborah, to get our attention and to turn it back 
after him. Reverend Neal, I want to say it takes the wise to realize that's right, that's right. that in this life, that's right. We acknowledge him. We are to acknowledge him each and every day of our life. We have to love and we have to cherish him in the same way that we love and we cherish Nisha. We need to love God a little bit more so that we, we can have eternal life and, and be united spiritually with our loved one who made the choice to follow Jesus Christ a long time ago. All right. Sister Nisha was a member of my church, St. Philip C. and me. And so I want to believe that she knew Jesus. She knew God and the pardon of her sin. And to come from a household of faith, I want to believe that she is in the arms of our loving Savior on today. So, so, so often we, we look for the material and perishable things to love and to cherish. Well, well. well. And we sometimes use the superficial to mask the pain. My mind. Yet that only lasts for a little while. Mm. And when the high and the excitement is gone, well, well. and when the noise has ceased, I want to tell you the pain and the hurt is still there. Yes, but hear me when I say that even psychologists have long known that there are two things that every person longs for. The first is to be loved, uh -huh. and the second is to love. Wow, wow. The, the tragedy is that we often look in the wrong places to feel this deep need of love. Say so now. Some of us, yes, some of us substitute lust for love. Others pursue superficial relationships, and yet still others try to fulfill the void with material things. Wow, wow. All of these are futile attempts to fill the God-shaped vacuum in the human heart that can only be filled by God's genuine love. Uh -huh. yeah. That's what it means to be in love with somebody. Well, well. But there is good news this morning that there is a love worth finding and sharing even in the midst of sorrow. Uh -huh. It's a love God extends to all of us and once again I'm reminded that John 3.16 says for God so loved the world. Oh, yes. Are you a part of this world? Oh, yes. Yes. So that means somebody loves you on today. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him, do you believe this morning? Yes. That, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have ever, eternal life in God. Bless the Lord. God's powerful and complete love was revealed and offered unconditional love on the cross at Calvary. Uh -huh. Some of us yet know what unconditional love looks like because some of us love Misha with conditions if I have a real church on today. Uh, some of us are still loving some folk in our life with conditions because as soon as they hurt our feelings, as soon as they step on our toes, as soon as they say something that put us in our feelings, we turn our back on them. But then when we come to a place such as a home going service, we crying and we weeping like someone with no hope, someone who has just lost a best friend. But I want to tell you this morning that her best friend is holding on to her tight. She, she's sitting at the feet of Jesus. She's in love with her Savior. So if you love God on this morning, somebody ought to give a hand clap of praise that she's made it over, that she's made it to see her best friend. Someone who will not turn their back on her. Someone who will not cuss her out. Someone who will not turn their back on her. But God is right there with her. God's powerful and unconditional love is what we should be seeking on today. The choice to live and be saved through him is what we should be seeking on today because Nisha made it over. Yes, she did. She made it over. Hallelujah. It, it, it hurts because we will not see her again in this life. But if you love her like you say you love her, all right, all right. on today you'll give your life over to him so that you can see her once again. Today is the day. 
Uh -huh. So that's why I want to tell you today, you have suffered a great loss. No doubt about it. But God still loves you. Yes, your, your loved one is all right this morning. Nisha is all right this morning. Nisha has been healed from her sickness. Nisha has been delivered from her pain. And if you lean on Jesus, he will see you through your hurt. He will see you through your pain. He will allow you to stand when nobody else can stand. Oh, yes. He will heal you from your pain. He, he will dry your tears away. Church, I can hear him saying, come unto me, ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. If these last few weeks since Nisha left this earth has been restless, I want to say to you this morning, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. And if these last few weeks since Nisha has been gone, has been hard to endure. I want to tell you this morning, be of good cheer. Yeah. Jesus Christ yeah. has overcome this world. Yeah. Nisha has overcome yeah. this world. Yeah. She don't have to worry about COVID. She don't have to worry about pneumonia. She don't have to worry about no more sickness, no more pain. She has overcome. God God can move the tallest mountain. Surely he can carry you over this one, Sharon. God can, can drain the deepest sea. Surely he can dry your tears away. God can calm the toughest waves. So surely he can calm your fears. God, God can heal the worst disease. So surely he can heal your pain today. God can, God can. When no one else can help you. God can. God can. When no one else can heal your suffering, God can. Oh, yeah. When no one else can dissolve your tears, God, God can. Oh, yeah. When no one else can restore your hope, God can. Uh, God can and God will. These days and nights may be long. These days and nights may be hard. But I want to tell you today, weeping endures for a night. Uh -huh. But joy Sharon. Peaceful nights are coming, Jamin. These may be a strange land that we're living in, that you are in right now, and nothing seems right. Nothing feels right. Nothing is going right. But victory today, victory today is yours because Nisha has overcome. If you trust in the Lord, peace is yours. If you trust in him, uh-huh, you will have a peace that surpasses all understanding. So when the nights get dark and you're alone all by yourself, God will come in like a rushing wind and he will dry away your tears. He will heal your suffering and pain and he will give you a peace. He will give you a peace yes, that surpasses all understanding. Yes, the days will come when you don't know who else to turn to. Well, well. Stand on the word of God. Uh -huh. Trust in God. Yes. He's brought you this far. Oh, yes. And he has yet to leave you. Yes. Nisha is all right. Oh, yes. For she is resting in her Savior's arms. Oh, yes. And if you want to see her again, <laughs> You don't have to come to the church house. You don't have to come to the church house. Say so now. We are the church. That's right. That's right. We are the ecclesia. We, we can take church wherever we go. We can take church to the tree. We, we can take church to the corner. If God is in you, you have a peace that surpasses all understanding. And you know the word. Stand on it. Believe in it. Yes. Trust in it. Yes. And now that you have the responsibility, make sure that her children know the word of God. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Say so. Yeah. Say it again. Say it again. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure that they know the That's word right. of God. That's right. Because I heard the baby say he didn't want his mama to leave him. But she's right here. And if you want to see her again, uh -huh. believe in your heart. Mm -hmm. 
that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord. And you shall be saved. That's it. And That's you it. will be with your mama. That's again. it. That's Amen. it. Amen. Amen. That's the word. Amen. I will not allow this day to go before us without giving you the right hand of God. Right. Because I don't want to leave here knowing that I miss somebody. That's right. Again, we are the church. That's right. And the doors of the church have been opened so many years ago. <laughs> but it's up to you to choose ye this day and whom you will serve. Uh -huh. And if God be before you, who shall be against you? So. And it doesn't matter what anybody has to say about you. Right. If you want to see your loved ones again, today is the day That's right. to turn your life over to him. Oh, yeah. Again, you don't have to come to the church building. It will be great to have some new members. However, the most important member is the member of the household of faith. Uh -huh. So today is the day. Will you pray with me? Father God, we come to you saying thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this day, the day that you have made, the day that you have created, and we want to give it all back to you. Yes. And Lord, I'm asking that you just look down the hearts of those that don't know you the way that I knew you. My Lord. Ask that you heal them and forgive them. Lord. Yeah. Talk to them, speak to them in a way that they understand you, yeah. that they will receive you and welcome you into their hearts. Yeah. Yeah. In Jesus' name, we ask and pray. Jesus name. Let the body of Christ say amen. 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 And amen. As we leave this place, let us go as we prepare to lay our loved one to rest. Please go to your cars immediately after the funeral home has come and has departed so that we can go and celebrate like we choose to do. Amen. Amen.